everybody welcome to my channel here we are doing the monthly readings for all zodiac signs I do want to apologize for not being able to upload a little bit ahead of time um, honestly I've been extremely bombarded with a lot of rituals a lot of rites, a lot of candle magic uh, thank you guys very very much um, I have you know massively increased my clientele uh, through this YouTube channel so I highly thank you guys uh, makes me extremely humble to know that you guys are definitely getting results and you continuously keep coming back to me. Thank you guys very much. Um, I do want to mention, uh, because we are approaching the end of the year, uh, just want to let you guys know, for those of you guys that are interested in private consultations, now is the time to start um, you know, scheduling in, uh, scheduling in appointments. Um, as I cannot promise you uh, the last two months of the year, I can't promise you availability there. Uh, only because those are the heaviest uh, the heaviest months for me um, because a lot of people are preparing for the new year a lot of people want cleansings uh, want spells workings um, and of course readings so again I can't promise you guys availability so now is the time to get your appointment scheduled um, other than that let's get into your reading this is going to be for the Sun moon and rising of Aquarius um, I do want to let you guys know before I actually shuffle the cards before I started the recording uh, days before I had already uh, contacted spirit and channeled messages specifically for each zodiac sign uh, pertaining uh, the energies and the messages that you guys need to hear so I did that I will move forward with the messages that were given to me and then we'll get into the reading okay so let's get into this reading for Aquarius for the month of September 2017 um let me see okay Aquarius you guys are definitely going through a lot of family issues and relationship issues okay um I feel like you guys uh, are definitely fed up at this point and what I mean by that is the message came on very strongly for you guys that you guys are cutting people out left and right um, so I feel that again if you feel or if you've been experiencing uh, being in a relationship where the family surrounding your partner is becoming too involved in your relationship or if your family is becoming too involved in the relationship and it's starting to trigger your partner uh, now is the time to bring it to the table and to actually speak about it uh, because you guys are getting to the point where you guys are easily able to walk away from the relationship or your partner's getting uh, themselves ready to walk away from the relationship it's like it's been ongoing um, it's it's a never-ending type of issue and again it's very very close tight connected to family so again it, it could also represent um, your partner being extremely family oriented and perhaps you're not as connected with your family or it could be vice versa and that's where this disconnect is at that's where you don't understand your partner or your partner doesn't understand you um, so again for those of you guys that are in a relationship and have children um, you know perhaps the partner that you're with doesn't have children and it's really hard for them to understand even jealousy or a little bit of possessiveness feeling like you're putting them in second place um, and that you're putting your children in first place where well you know it should be that way uh, but a lot of times people that don't have children find that very difficult to understand so now is the time to talk about it before it gets to that boiling point where you guys are just going to be starting cutting people out left and right like I said okay um, also um, let me see you guys are in great need to let go of what no longer serves you okay um, the hermit card came up in my in my um, scrying when I was channeling, uh, channeling uh, spirit guide and hermit card was mentioned to me so the hermit to me represents uh, spiritual beings or your spiritual guides are trying to guide you guys through difficulty even depression almost um and and they're trying the best they can to guide you the right way but it's like you're not listening or you're becoming very seclusive you're becoming very antisocial, not wanting to uh, go out not wanting to be around friends and again it, it could be connected to the relationship or relationships you guys have been in where you feel like um, you guys kind of secluded yourselves and now it's like kind of awkward because you're having issues in the relationship but at the same time it's awkward being around friends because the friends feel like you kind of left them out in the cold so again there is a very strong need for you guys to speak up you know speak your mind and again like I said 
put your tables uh, sorry put your cards on the table and be very upfront with your partner because at this present time it's kind of like break or make um, so again I hope you guys take those messages into consideration and let's get into the reading okay so this is going to be for Aquarius for the month of September 2017 spirit what are the messages for Aquarius for the month of September 2017 Spirit, what are the messages for Aquarius for the month of September 2017? Spirit guides, what are the messages? Adivinando desde el pasado, voy adivinando hacia el futuro. Constantemente mis seres me dan la facultad para ver el más allá. Adivinando desde el pasado, voy adivinando hacia el futuro. Constantemente mis seres me dan la facultad para ver el más allá. <clears throat> okay, so I do want to mention the sun. I keep seeing the sun. And the sun is definitely talking about uh, blessings. Um, it also talks about blessings that are you're still unaware of that are on their way for you um, because this is a general energy. So again, for some of you guys, it's just you guys are in your head right now at the present time. You're not able to see positiveness, um, you know, with everything that's going on. I feel that there's a lot of chaotic energy surrounding you guys. But again, just know and understand that you have to keep positive. You have to keep going and try the best you can to ground yourself uh, to be, again, like I said, to maintain yourself positive. Surround yourself um, with positive people. If you can find positive people, try the best you can to self-motivate yourself, okay? Because there's definitely blessings coming their way for you. Okay. Let's get into your reading, Aquarius. Okay, so your first card is the Page of Wands. Second card is the King of Wands, Ace of Pentacles, the Emperor card, Five of Cups, Knight of Pentacles, Temperance card, Eight of Pentacles, uh, Page of Cups, Nine of Cups, Page of Swords, and the Four of Wands. Okay. Oh, wow, look at what I just say about blessings. Okay, so you guys have the magician card the magician card is definitely uh, you are forgetting that you're the master of your own uh, you're the master and the author of your own book you can bring to you whatever it is that you want uh, Aquarius tend to be spiritual so tap into that spirituality try the best to keep yourself away from your shadow side um, and again the magician is all about the universe telling you you have all the elements in the table it's up to you what to do with them so master your mind Aquarius Okay, so you're going into the month with a lot of communication, okay? You may be dealing with a fire sign, as you do have the king of wands here. Fire sign would be a Sagittarius, a Leo, uh, or an Aries. Now, you're starting a new endeavor. This is a new beginning. So for those of you guys that are in a serious relationship or have been in a serious relationship for quite a while, you might be communicating with this king of wands. doesn't have to be a male. could be both male or female. It is a general reading. Um, and the Ace of Pentacles is a new beginning of connection. So be very mindful about that if you guys are in a relationship and you're emotionally connecting with someone else or telling them what's going on in your relationship just to get clarity because what's happening is you're actually becoming attached to this person. Now you do have the Emperor here. There's a need for structure, okay? And the the uh, Emperor is looking towards the Ace of Pentacles. So I feel that for some of you guys, um, if you're able to actually um, bring structure into your life, set goals for yourself, you will more than likely be able to see them. You will be able to reap the success and the uh, manifestations of them because, again, like I said, there's a need for structure here with the emperor. But again, the emperor is looking towards the ace. So it's like a universe is telling you the ball is in your court. What are you going to do with it? OK, time to wake up about that. Now, you do have the five of cups here. So there's a loss um, or a feeling of loss when it comes to a relationship. For some of you guys that are currently in a relationship, uh, sorry, that are currently not in a relationship, it could be that in the present you are dealing with emotions that perhaps you're not used to. Perhaps you walked away from a partner. Perhaps you didn't put so much effort into the relationship or you put too much effort one way or another because it, it is a general reading. And there is still a feeling of lostness. There's a feeling of mourning that relationship. But finally, you're getting stronger and you're being able to move on from that. You do have the Knight of Pentacles here. So again, for some of you guys, you may be dealing with an Earth sign. An Earth sign would be a Capricorn, Virgo, or Taurus or a Sagittarius because the Temperance card is here. And there's a communication coming back 
uh, from this Sagittarius or from this earth sign because the Knight of Pentacles is looking towards the temperance. So if you're wanting growth and stability or to increase your income, the need for balance is very important, okay? Some of you guys that are in a strong monogamous relationship, um, perhaps you guys have been extremely busy with goals and trying to achieve them that you've kind of forgotten to give time um, in regards to your family, uh, give time to your kids, give time to your wife uh, or your husband. And the temperance is here to let you know, hey, you got to wake up and learn to balance everything. Again, we're talking about structure, okay? So try to spend as much quality time as you possibly can with your children, with your family or people in your household, uh, your partner. Again, like I said, you do have the eight of pentacles here. So there's going to be a lot of work picking up um, in the second to third week of the month of September. Um, if it's been slow lately, if you've just had, um, you haven't been working as much, there's definitely going to be a pickup of that. And there's going to be like a lot of, um, a lot of things, a lot of projects coming up for you guys, definitely by the second or to third week of September. Now you do have the page of cups here. So there is a message coming through. It could be a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. And this is a person that you do have a genuine feelings for or have had genuine feelings for in the past. Um, I don't feel like this is a new person. I feel that more the earth sign is probably um, a person, um, a new person that's coming into your life because the king of wands is next to the ace of pentacles. And I feel that this person may be... Um, Sorry, this person may be a water sign and this is something from your past because it is in the past and passing position So it's like they still have connection or they still have feelings for you and they may reach out to you um, The knight of page, sorry, the page of swords is definitely um, Watch what you post online or watch that, you know, that person doesn't start any type of instigation uh, Just to come between your partner if you guys are in a relationship or if you recently broke up with someone, um, you know, if you're having fun and a great time, that's fine and dandy. Just don't put it on social media because I feel that there's going to be some type of fire started uh, where there's going to be a lot of disrespect uh, for one or the other party. OK, so just be careful with that. Now, you do have the four of wands here in your final outcome card. So, again, there is a need for stability here with this emperor. But once you find that stability and that balance that you, that temperance is asking you to put or integrate into your life, uh, you're going to be working towards projects and achieving other or new goals that you're definitely going to be meeting. You're definitely going to be seeing manifest with the four of um, wands. There's definitely a, you know, thinking process or something that has to do with those of you that have been in a long term relationship. Maybe some of you guys feel that it you guys are at the present time ready to actually take it to the next level and actually move in or marriage. OK, so again, this is a beautiful reading. I wish you guys the very best Aquarius. Share, like and comment my videos. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, definitely subscribe so you guys could get the newest updates and we will see each other in the middle of the month for love readings. Thank you. Bye.